Welcome back to my Making It Work series. This is week two, day one. And uh, let's get into this. I want, I started, got ready a little bit early today because I have a haul for you. I wanted to get up and going. I didn't get it done before now. Sorry about that. But um, I do have some news for you that I will share in that haul. It'll be the Alta and small Amazon haul if you're looking for that. So um, stay tuned for that and let's get into what I'm wearing this week. First thing I went for was my, I, I took a shower, moisturized, all that. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a frog in my throat today. So this week I'm using the Jordana Fabubrow um, Share and Set Gel in dark brown. That's what that looks like. And here is the wand. I I have one. You know, this is really good. The color is really good. I really like it. But the wand does not hold much color. You have to go in to it is, at least twice to get a good coverage of the color on your brows. It just doesn't hold much. But I do, I still like it. So... It, it works. Okay, the next thing I did was my um, Ulta Eye Primer. Then I went in with my um, Lorac Mega Pro palette, and this I won from Brandy. I can't think of She's married now, so I cannot think of her last name. But these were bought off of a different website, so she did state that that these were not real Lorac. But I'm going to use it this week anyway. Um, not happy with it at all. But anyway, this is what it looks like. It's got some beautiful colors, you know, that I'm going to play with this week. I used, first of all, I used, this is the color Fawn for all over my lids. Then I went in with, if I can even see, the sepia for my transition color. And I used sand for my um, lids. And this color sucks. It is so powdery. I had to use a brush and go over my face. It's a good thing I didn't wear my shirt when I was getting my makeup on. I'll tell you that. But I had to go with a brush all over my face after I put on this because everything is so powdery and not very pigmented. You have to go over it two to three times in order to get any color payoff at all. So I will probably not use this palette again. I will use it. I, I've committed to it for this week, so I will use it for this week. But this will probably the, be the last time I use this palette. It's not worth it. So, all right, for my um, mascara, I'm using my Super Sizer by CoverGirl, and it's still really wet. So, I'm hoping by using it all week this week that it will dry out just a little bit, because it's still really wet and hard to work with. So, anyway, I'll show you my eyes. You can tell um, there just doesn't seem to be tons of stuff on my eyes. And there should be with that brown. There should be a lot more color on my lids. Okay, so for blush, I used my Milani and Rose and T Rose. I love these blushes. First of all, they're very they're they're pigmented, but not too pigmented. They are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at that color. Isn't that gorgeous? And I just love the rose on there. You know, I'm, I've got two of these and I wish I had them all. But um, I can't find Milani in my town. So, someday. But I have the T-Rose and I have the Romantic Rose. Which, here's the tube side by side. The T-Rose is a little bit pinker. Okay. So anyway, there is my, you know, you can't see it a whole lot because I'm bare skinned. I, you know, if I had 
face makeup on, you'd be able to see it better. But I'm, I'm using a um, highlighter from now on. And I am using, let's see here, this is 129 Tiki by Hard Candy. And this is what it looks like. It's so beautiful, guys. Look at this. Just such a beautiful gold. Um, I usually like the more champagne-y colors, but this is very pretty. You know, and I used a really light touch because I don't want it bam in your face this week. So, Because this is a bam color. So I just used a very light touch. Okay, for lipsticks this week, my theme is going to be bullets. Not not the high end, but bullets. Um, and this is, I believe this this is Makeup Revolution, although it does not say Makeup Revolution on here anywhere, which is crazy for them. But it this color is Chauffeur, and this is what it looks like. It's very pretty. I love this gold, rose gold, and it's just a very nice nude. Not too light, this is, is a nice nude for my skin tone. So anyway, that is my makeup of the day. And I will see you tomorrow with day two. And some more news. Hi guys, this is Connie. And welcome back to my Making It Work series. Day two, or week two, day two. And I'm going to two jobs today. I'm going to my new job, my first day at my new job, from uh, 11.30 till 1.30, just over the lunch hour. They're very busy on Wednesdays and Fridays, so I'm going to work just the lunch hours on those two, day, those two days. And so I'm going there, and then at 2.30, I'm going to my uh, job that I will be quitting uh, from 2.30 until about 12.30 or maybe a little earlier. Um, they've been letting me go early, letting everybody that works the evening shift go early. So it kind of, that's the whole reason that I'm quitting. So anyway, I am changing this up a little bit. I am just going to show you the items that I'm using for all week to make this video a little bit shorter. It's been a little bit too long, I think, so I'm not going to talk about the items that I use every single day until the end of the week. So anyway, let's get started. Uh, first thing I'm using is the Jordana Fabio Brow uh, in dark brown. Then the next thing is uh, Ulta Eye Primer. Super Sizer by uh, CoverGirl Mascara. Hard Candy Highlighter. And Milani Blush in T-Rose. Those are my items that I'm using every single day. The next thing is I'm using the Lorac Pro palette every day, but different shadows every day. Except for this one I used again for all over my, my eyelid. Then I used... Um, stone in my crease or transition and then copper in my on my eyelid I'll show you that not a good pal okay then I, I chose a different one I'm using bullet eyeshadows this week and I chose a different one but it was like in your face purple and I'm thinking that I will wear that on my last day of work at my other job. <laughs> it's just too bright. So this one here I got in a, um, I'm thinking a lip monthly bag. And it is a Winky Lux. And the texture, I do not like at all. It's got a, almost like a, a little bit of a grainy texture. And it just doesn't feel good. It's a pretty color. Um, it's a neutral color. But I just... I'm not in love with this lipstick at all. And that's what that looks like. Uh, I don't know if this is a... It says this is a lip velour. Um, I can't remember where I got this. It was either in a lip monthly or did I get... Is this the lipstick that I got from Doll's Kill? with my um, Beauty Con uh, gift certificate. 
If it is, it's not a very good lipstick for $20. Anyway, I need to get going. I just thought I'd get on here um, early since I won't have time to do it before my second job starts today. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to my day three, week two of my Making It Work series on my new job. Actually, this is the last day of this job that I'm going to tonight at the supper club. Um, I started my new job yesterday and I work there tomorrow so that will be day four. Next week um, since I told them I told them last night that I wasn't going to be working there anymore unless they needed me. I asked them if, you know, if they needed me and I wasn't working, I would most definitely come in. Um, the, the head boss wasn't very happy with me. The, my manager actually is the one that I thought I'd have problems with and I didn't. She was happy to let me work tonight. Um, he says I'm done tonight. I was supposed to work tomorrow night. So, you know, that shows that he's not happy with me. Um, I'm a little upset about that, but what can you do? So I only work a couple of days next week. My full schedule at my new job starts on the 12th, but I am still working two hours twice a week during the lunch hour to get used to things. So um, I'm working tomorrow, and then I work two days next week. So I'll have some time off next week to get some things done that I need to do, and then I'll move into my normal work schedule. And I'm praying to God that this one works out, because it seems like it's going to now, but I guess we will see, huh? So let's get into my makeup of today. Um, like I'm going to start doing, I am just going to be showing you what I'm going to wear for the week and, you know, every day say, I wore this, I wore this, I wore this, but I'm not going to give you any opinions until my last day. Okay? All right, let's get started. The first thing I put on today was my Jordana Fabu Brow in dark brown. The next thing, um, I wore my Super Sizer by CoverGirl, the non-waterproof version. Wore uh, Milani blush in Tea Rose. Hard Candy highlighter in Tiki. Um, Ulta Eye Primer. For eyeshadow, I'm wearing the Lorac Mega Pro palette. This is not the real version of the um, palette. I, when I when I first got this, well, let's take that till tomorrow. I'll talk to you about that tomorrow. But today I wore um, Fawn for my all over eye color. Then for my transition, I wore Wisteria. And for my um, eyelids, I wore Maroon. And I will show you, and I think that is so pretty together. I love those colors, actually. All right. The next thing I wore was for my lipstick today was Makeup Revolution in Liberty Matte. And um, the only reason I wore this today is because of my eyeshadows. I figured if I'm wearing kind of purpley colors on my eyeshadows, I would wear this. And it, it I'm going along with the bullet theme for this week. So with uh, Liberty Matte. And I did, I thought it was wow in your face when I first put it on. So I did did pat it a couple of times with, you know, just a tissue. And it's still pretty purple, but it looks better. My lips, I don't know. I think that I have very uneven lips. First of all, I've got this scar that runs here that I got when I was like seven years old. Um, before they knew how to stitch very well. <laughs> and... Um, it makes this lip just a little bit uneven. He didn't even get my lips right, you know, but it could have been a lot worse. I was bit by a dog. So um, that I always have a little bit of problems with. I don't have a very pronounced Cupid bow, which I hate. 
I hate that. These people with the pretty Cupid bows, I could just, I envy them so much. Um, and my bottom lips, I don't think, are very straight. And maybe I should start using lip pencils because um, I've noticed lately that, you know, it doesn't look straight because of my lip wrinkles. And this lipstick, I'm going to bring you in really close and let you look at this lipstick once. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but do you see those dark spots on my bottom lip? That is lipstick. It's got like dark, sparkly, or dark, I don't know. See, now you can really see them. What in the hell is that? Can you see them? It's kind of weird. Every time I do that, I get a little bit more. Like it's almost like um, a mascara that, you know, you get some here and you, you try to wipe it off and it's kind of smears. That's almost what that looks like. So I don't know what that is. It's kind of weird. Anyway, I need to get to work, but I will talk to you guys tomorrow in my fourth and last day for the week. Bye-bye. Hi, guys, and welcome back to my day four, week two of my making it work. And today I start a whole new chapter in my job life. <laughs> I, I did work one other day, but um, last night was my last night at the lake house today. Um, is my first, my second day at Big Dummies is what it's called. It's a bar in town, the other bar that's connected to it by a, a outdoor area is the Longhorn. I will be working both of those. So, um, and I've got to get going. Of course, as usual, I'm running a bit late. I always think that I have plenty of time, but then I end up goofing off and I, I don't have time. So let's get to it. I'm going to try to tell you as much as I can about each item that I use this week as I will every last day of my week. So um, I use, this week I use the Fabio Brow by Jordana um, in dark brown. And this actually is pretty good. It You know, you have to work a little bit with it to get it to, um, you know, go where you want to. But all in all, it's really a good... Um, brow mascara. It The color suits me just fine. Um, I need to figure out how to fill up, fill in this blank area there. I try to do it with this, but this does not work well on skin. It works well on the hairs. It covers all my grays that are in my, my um, eyebrows, but it does not work well on skin. And I don't like using a pencil very well. So I got to figure something out there. So anyway, that's my first item. My next is the Super Sizer by um, CoverGirl in the non-waterproof formula. And I really do like this, but it's still really wet, and so it clumps a lot because it's so wet. Once it tames down and gets a little bit drier, it'll be a lot better. But I do love this for lengthening and voluminizing my lashes. <coughs> The um, Ulta Eye Primer, I absolutely adore this stuff. I recommend this so much. It's kind of um, a buff color, I would say. Uh, yeah, kind of, or a taupe color. And what I do is I put it on my finger, and then I rub my fingers together, and I'll put it on this eye, then I'll put it on this eye. But you have to be really quick because it dries really fast. So by the time you get to this eye... Sometimes I'm a little bit dry and I have to add a little bit more. So you have to be really quick if you do it in the way I do it. Um, my blush. I can't say enough good things about these blushes. I love Milani blushes. They're, um, this is in Tea Rose. And it's absolutely beautiful. And I use it all the time and you cannot hardly tell a difference. I put it on real shortly after I did my 
my um, lotion today so it's showing up more on my skin than it normally would because my skin was a little bit tacky yet okay now for the eyeshadow oh let's go on with the the hard candy um, antique highlighter um, I love this highlighter <laughs> beautiful I prefer a little bit more champagne -y color. This is a little bit too gold for me, but I still, I love it. I mean, you can tell that I have it on. You know, it's not not in your face, you know, because I did do it with a light touch when I have to go to work. But um, otherwise, I love it. Okay, so now I'm using the fake Lorac Pro Mega Pro. And today I used Fawn for all over my eyelid, or for all over my lid. Um... Mm -hmm. Sienna for my uh, crease and transition and Smoky Topaz for my lid and there it is and it those colors are nice um, they're very very powdery some of the colors are better than others for pigments um, a lot of them you really have to go in these here I, I tend to dip my brush in um, two to three times to get this color. So I probably won't be using this much because of that, because I'm just not happy with the pigmentation and the powder. You know, I have to wipe off my face or sweep off my face afterwards, sweep off my clothes afterwards because I have powder everywhere. Not thrilled with this. Okay, for my lipstick today, I use the Camila Cosmetics in number 44. And that's what this looks like. We, are, we were using the bullet style this week. This is this color. And I don't know how this is going to last all day. So I'm just telling you, you know, it's a, I, I feel a little uncomfortable going to work in something quite so bright. But I'm going to do it. Yesterday I wore the Makeup Revolution in Liberty Matte. Beautiful color. Um very patchy as as it wears off um, those purple remember yesterday I had those kind of purple dots in this which I'm assuming are is part of the dye for this but it look it didn't look good I mean those dots do not look good on your lips so I'm not happy with this lipstick um, I probably won't wear this one much at all even though the color was beautiful um, let's see here the net the Wednesday I use chauffeur and this is also a makeup revolution lipstick and this one I really liked so maybe it's the darker colors that aren't so good in the makeup revolution or maybe it's just the the um, I believe this yeah this is the matte formula maybe it's just the matte formula this is more of a creamy formula and it was very nice this is just in the nondescript package. It doesn't even have Makeup Revolution on it, which is kind of stupid, I think, because unless I knew it was Makeup Revolution. This one here was the Winky Lux, and did not like the texture of this one at all, so I probably won't wear this one much either. Um, it, it was really grainy. So I don't recommend these two but I do recommend these too. So that is my makeup of the week. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.